Thank you. We'll check in. From a former governor to a current congresswoman, both Tommy Thompson and Tammy Baldwin are fixtures in Wisconsin politics. Fox 6's Tammy Hughes is live with the Baldwin campaign now in Madison. Hi, Tammy. Hi, guys. I would describe the crowd here as fairly jubilant. They are very excited. Of course, a, a variety of outlets have not called the race just yet for Tammy Baldwin, as we reported Fox News has. So they are very cautiously optimistic at this point. Uh, one of their spokesperson, uh, Phil Walzak, told me that um, they know the numbers still to come in. Oh, they're seeing the race being called uh, in Iowa for President Obama. A lot of cheers. They say the numbers still to come in are from Madison and Milwaukee. They know in Milwaukee the turnout they were expecting could have been even higher than it was in 08. That's why they're feeling very confident that that prediction is going to hold. It sounded like Governor Walker a few moments ago in Jeremy's story had one uh, thought about why the race perhaps went one way or another. Well, I can tell you I spoke to former U.S. Senator Russ Feingold just a few moments ago and he had a different idea about why he thinks Tammy Baldwin's going to win this race. Well, I think in her race is that she showed herself to be a mature person who simply wanted to do the work as she's done a member of Congress, whereas uh, Tommy Thompson was running around acting like he was bored and that he was entitled to the job. And people could see the difference. One person that really wanted to do the work, it's like when an employer hires somebody. I would hire Tammy Baldwin uh, because she looks like she's ready to do the job. A lot of people talked about throughout this campaign. Of course, former Governor Thompson, he was elected governor here in Wisconsin four times. A lot of people thought he was untouchable. There was no way he could lose a statewide race in Wisconsin. Some people said that he also seemed to act like it, and that's something that people here at uh, Tammy Baldwin's uh, campaign talked about. They felt like she just showed this whole time that she was a fighter, and certainly this is significant if this, you know, holds tonight, that she would be able to oust Tommy Thompson. A lot of people in this state certainly did not think this would happen. If it's true, though, very significant to point out, she makes history because she's going to be the first woman to represent Wisconsin in the U.S. Senate, and she's also going to be the first openly gay member of the Senate ever. So certainly some things that uh, Tammy Baldwin were still waiting for her here tonight. She's likely going to touch on uh, when she takes the podium. As you can hear, guys, they're playing Jump Around, of course, the, the Badger song. People here are getting pretty excited. Back to you guys. All right, Tammy, we'll check back with you uh, when she does take the stage. CNN a also. Song that, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, a song, that's important. A song that they play at the beginning of the fourth quarter, yeah. meaning the game isn't over yet, perhaps. Yeah, exactly. So, sorry. Meantime, CNN uh, projecting via Twitter this just came out that the Democrats will keep control of the Senate. Again, this just came over uh, via Twitter. So CNN projecting Democrats do keep control of the Senate. And earlier, the House keeping control of the House of Representatives, yeah. the Republicans, I should say. So much more to come. This is just the start of Fox 6's complete election coverage. Coming up, the other reason Paul Ryan was on many of your ballots today. We're going to